The operation of a tray column is a balancing act of controlling the vapor flow and the liquid flow. These two diagrams show the relationship between vapor flow rate and liquid flow rate for the bubble cap tray absorption column and for the sieve tray absorption column. The shaded region within these boundaries are the region of satisfactory operation of the absorption column. It gives us an idea of the effects of liquid flow and vapor flow on the conditions within the tray column. For example, if the liquid flow is high and the vapor flow is also high and it moves out of the satisfactory operation region, then flooding would occur. But if liquid flow is low while vapor flow is low too, then the coning phenomena would occur, as well as the other undesirable phenomena on the outer regions of the satisfactory region. Compare this with the sieve tray, and since um, they are displayed side to side by side, we can directly compare between these two figures. Here we see that sieve tray is, is able to prevent flooding better than the bubble cap tray column due to this line being at a higher level compared to this. So this two diagrams just generally illustrates the, the relationship between liquid flow and vapor flow and how does one affect the other in the operation of a bubble cap and the operation of a tray column.